So a couple of days ago, I made a video about the 3080 Ti versus the 3090. And before you watch this video, make sure to go and check that video out if you haven't, because we're gonna talk a bit about the stuff in that video in this one. So this is kind of like the sequel to it. But uh, essentially, I felt like I talked a lot about the 3090 and not enough about the 3080 Ti. And there was a whole summary in there that I kind of left out because the video was running too long anyway. So I decided to cut that out. So that's what we're gonna do here. And we're gonna talk more about the 3080 Ti and what you should be expecting when it finally releases. So I'm not going to run through the specs, you already know the specs and the performance of the 3080 Ti. It is roughly the same as the 3090 except that it has half the video memory. So it has 12 gigabytes of VRAM and the 3090 has 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And also the 3090 has NVLink where you can hook up two cards and then you can get the performance of those two cards in video games uh, in terms of the frame rate. But essentially the 3080 Ti is going to be as good as a 3090. Now the issue that I have with this is that um, the 3080 Ti is positioned exactly in between a 3080 and a 3090, which means that this is better value than a 3090, meaning that the 3090 is always going to be higher priced than the 3080 Ti, and the 3080 Ti will be higher priced than the 3080. So I don't think you're going to get a situation where your 3080 Ti is going to be cheaper than your 3080, or it's going to be more expensive than the 3090. And that's a problem because this means that the 3080 Ti will always be sold out because it's just better than the 3090. So if you find the 3080 Ti for cheaper than a 3090, you're always going to buy the 3080 Ti because most people uh, aren't too bothered with that extra 24 Four gigabytes of RAM. Maybe if the prices start uh, getting closer, if it's like a hundred or two hundred dollars, then maybe most people are going to say, "Well, I'm just going to buy the 3090 instead." But if it's like four hundred, five hundred dollars uh, less than the 3090, say if it's like eighteen hundred dollars versus twenty two hundred, well, most people are just going to end up with the 3080 Ti. I think. I think. So uh, that's what um, is going to happen with this 3080 Ti is that it's just going to be sold out everywhere. And even miners, um, because miners don't really care about uh, how large the amount of video memory there is. So I think they'll probably just end up going with the 3080 Ti given the choice between the two. So I think uh, that's going to be a problem. And also uh, the 3080 is also going to be out as well, given that the 3080 and the 3090 have pretty similar hash rates. Um, so the 3080 is 90 mega hash per second. You can almost get it up to 100 if you start to overclock it or undervolt it. Um, and then the 3090 uh, is about 110 mega hashes per second. But at those MSRPs, people would just buy the 3080 every single time. It's only now that um, these are priced at uh, the levels where it's based on return on investment, where they're all about five months to six months to pay them off, that uh, people start to consider, well, maybe I should get the 3090 instead of the 3080. But of course, there are other considerations like how much power it uses and all of that sort of thing. But essentially, the 3080 will be sold out. The 3080 Ti will also always be sold out if these Bitcoin prices continue to be as high as they are. And I would expect that even if they were 10 to maybe $20,000 for Bitcoin, that these cars will be uh, continue to be sold out. So gamers have a problem on their hands. Um, these cars are going to be around uh, well, for the 3080, it could possibly stay at around $1,000. The 3080 Ti could be anywhere between like $1,200 to $1,500. And then your 3090 will be like $1,700 um, to $2,000. So I think that is a problem um, for gamers to consider that the 3080 Ti will always be the one that is always going to be sold out first. And I don't. Th I think it's going to be very hard to find. It's going to be like the 3060 Ti and the 3070 situation, frankly, because those two cards hash at exactly the same rate. So if they hash at the same rate, people are always going to choose the 3060 Ti. So I think uh, you're going to see the same thing happening with this 3080 Ti and 3090 uh, and the 3080. And uh, so I think. Uh, what people uh, really have to do is um, if they're desperate for the 3080 Ti, well, they have to consider, well, is it really worth it for like $1,200, $1,500? Like, um, does that really make sense? And I would say that the 3080 Ti, uh, if you're just 
doing it for gaming well i don't think anyone would really want to be considering a 3080 ti for like 1200 1500 dollars because you know that that's good money that you can put towards like a mortgage or medical bills or food or whatever else uh it doesn't seem like it makes sense to put it towards uh a, a gpu so i think uh, especially when you could get like a playstation 5 for uh 800 dollars if you really wanted to so i think um if you were to get the 3080 ti then uh i think most gamers aren't going to really do it so is this something to really look forward to i would probably say most people are kind of um, not interested anyway at these prices and the people are stopped watching uh these uh, videos and really it's only the diehards that are still here watching this I, that's the situation i'm looking at it now even in april when the card releases if this card comes back out uh, if this card comes out and the bitcoin price drops down to like uh, ten thousand dollars well i i would say that this 3080 ti will still be a thousand dollars and is it really worth it for a thousand dollars i would say a lot of people still wouldn't do it just for gaming Okay, so uh, I know that's a pretty short one, but if you want more information on the 3080 Ti and the 3090 where I go through all of uh, the specs and performance and what you should be expecting between the two cards, make sure to check out that video that I mentioned earlier about the 3080 Ti versus the 3090. And that's going to be it for this one. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button and also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.